And now to Colony Ridge, where a community of about 40,000 people located 40 miles northeast of Houston has found itself in some controversy. Some lawmakers even claim Mexican cartels control a portion of the community. Fox 26's Randy Wallace reporting from Colony Ridge in Liberty County. Colony Ridge is not new. It's been around since 2011, but some fringe conspiracy theories and remarks from the governor have thrust it into the national spotlight. To put a negative twist to it, I think is a little uncalled for. Lately, Colony Ridge has had nothing but negative press. In total, it's 33,000 acres, 10,000 developed, with about 40,000 people calling it home. Right-wing conspiracy theories call it America's largest illegal immigrant community. There's even claims Mexican drug cartels own parts of it. And Governor Greg Abbott wants lawmakers to investigate Colony Ridge during this special legislative session. We're going to have legislative hearings that will surface uh, the information about whether or not those allegations are true or not, and uh, if they're true, what we can do to stop it. I think it's kind of kind of funny if you want to know the truth. <laughs> I've been doing this forever. I mean, I've been, we've been doing the same thing forever, and, and now all of a sudden it's newsworthy. Yeah. You got me. Trey Harris, co-owner of Colony Ridge, says the overwhelming majority of Colony Ridge property owners are U.S. citizens. It's a very, very small percentage of our customers that may perhaps be undocumented and not their status here is questionable. Harris says he's giving low-income families an opportunity to become homeowners. He sells the property. The buyers build the home. Harris says he requires two forms of ID, a down payment, usually around $500, and a good U.S. address. He says he doesn't ask for a Social Security number, which he says is not required by law when selling property. The interest rate is about 12.5%. While some buyers end up evicted, Harris maintains he treats his customers well, and referrals are what keeps the business booming. What does he think about all the negative comments coming from lawmakers? I think they've never been to my neighborhood, and they don't have any idea what they're talking about. They've listened to somebody that's uh, misinformed, and they believe the lies they were told. Trey Harris says he invited state senators and representatives from all over the state to tour the community. He says only about 20 showed up. Reporting from Colony Ridge, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.